When I was working in corporate America, I knew that I could have pursued a, an MBA and progressed in my secular career. But then I really was faced with the fact, how do I want to die? I love the beauty of the liturgy. I just don't think there's anything like it in the world. And that's what drew me into the church and into the faith. And even though intellectually, I fought with a lot of the concepts and a lot of the terms that were used in orthodoxy. But again, there was that unspoken, indescribable draw. Once I became orthodox, it was at that point, it's like, I want to be part of this. I don't want to just show up and kind of check the box and walk away. This is a life I want to be part of. I liked having the security of my job. I liked having money, consistency. I liked the prestige of my position. But I saw where that was leading me, and I saw the end that had. And it's not the end that I wanted. So once our youngest was an adult, it was like, okay, let's go. When I think of a life of servitude, of, of submitting to the priesthood, if I'm gonna die, I wanna die driving home from the Divine Liturgy, or I wanna die on the way to or coming from blessing a home or visiting the sick or a funeral or a wedding. And that, that those opportunities increase dramatically when you become a priest, a lot, because you're, you're asked to serve, you're asked to, to take care of people. You know, I had people ask me years ago when I became a deacon, so when do you become a priest? I'm like, never. I've seen what happens to priests. <laughs> but as I got here, I realized that, that submitting to the priesthood, to that life of, of service, is realizing that if, if I'm going to die serving Christ, then I have to live serving Christ. I don't think the priesthood is the only way, but at that time I realized that that was the way that I needed to go. I guess if I would tell anyone who was thinking about the priesthood anything, it would be don't wait for the sky to open and a, a voice to come out and say, you need to go to seminary. Just listen intently, pray, ask yourself what you want, and ask what God wants. Because if you love God, you do what He wants. You, you want to make Him happy. You want to please your master, you want to please the target of your affection.